Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So this was the wave of November 26th, 2021, so this is the Black Friday wave. Unfortunately, I was only able to go to three stores this year. I had literally been holding off on making this video until they put their movies out, but uh, as of five minutes ago on uh, Sunday, they have not put them out. So not really sure what's going on with them. If they do end up putting them out and I end up getting uh, at least a few things that I am interested in, I will do another video. But as of right now, I only got stuff from two stores and I'll show that off right now. So the very first thing I got was just like a whatever kind of thing. This is a PS4 game and it's a Scribble Knots game. Uh, Scribble Not Showdown. Don't know a ton about this. I think I had the, I think there's an app, a phone app for this, but I was like, you know what, uh, a PS4 game for a dollar, uh, you really can't go too wrong with that. I also picked this up. Uh, this is the DVD only of Hocus Pocus. I picked this up mainly because it was a dollar and in every Disney movie you can get the Disney rewards. And so I mostly picked it up for the Disney Rewards because I plan to get this on 4K. I also picked up this, which is also something I already have, but this is a different version. So this is Stage Fright. I have the Stage Fright Blu-ray, but when I was, I just randomly happened to check this one out. And right down here at the bottom, it says that it is a, it says that it's an only at Best Buy version. And it includes an extra disc that has the award winning short film, The Legend of Beaver Dam. What is The Legend of Beaver Dam? I don't really know, but I was like, you know what, I'll pick this one up and give the movie a watch because I had never heard of it and I was like, you know what, for a dollar I'll pick that up and see what it's about. Um, Stage Fright though is a pretty decent movie. I did like it. Um, I could see some people not liking it, but for the most part I did like it, so I figured I would uh, give it a recommendation for you guys. And the last thing I picked up is something that's been found at Dollar Tree before, but uh, I would never got it or never found it at my Dollar Trees. So I picked up the Lego Ninjago movie on Blu-ray. This is happened to be the Walmart exclusive version that came with like a pack of trading cards. Um, but I mostly picked this one up to get the uh, digital copy. But that is it for everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree Black Friday sale. Uh, my last video I didn't really get that much, and this video I didn't really get that much. I will say that I think that this wave had much better selection than what we had in the previous wave. Um, that was like, looked like things were getting pretty bad. But uh, as far as this wave, I did see quite a few like name brand movies. So. That was pretty cool, some like big studio stuff, but uh, it was just stuff that I either didn't want or stuff that I could get on 4K or something like that. So that's mostly the reason why I have such a small haul this time around. There were a couple things that I was looking for that I wasn't able to find, like another Wolf Cop. I really was looking for that one, and there were a couple other ones uh, that I don't really remember off the top of my head. But this might be the last Dollar Tree haul that we get before the dollar and 25 cent price increase starts, uh, which I believe it's supposed to start at the beginning of next year. I mean, I still think that it's worth it for movies and stuff like that to get them for that cheap. You literally can't even get them that cheap at like maybe sometimes at a thrift store but i mean at the goodwill that i go to the main prices are two dollars and you could potentially get it on sale during their like weekly sale but it's a kind of up in the air type of thing and these are brand new so i think that it's still a decent price uh still a pretty good price i am interested to see how it'll go from here. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you picked up at your Dollar Tree. If there was anything that you found that was really cool or maybe really rare or something like that. And remember if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.
拜。